Yo, what it is, guys? Leo Mookie here, and I'm back with you with another part of What If Izuku Can Summon Heroic Spirits. This is part three. In the last part, Izuku continued his relentless training on getting into UA and getting ready for the entrance exam. Also, moving into his and his mom's new place, built thanks to the Queen of Sheba, his caster, with then he getting ready for the entrance exam, showing off his skills with his so with his with his favorite favorite twin swords, and also showing off his servants, being Kotaro, Sheba, and Nobunaga, and is now summoned his berserker servant, Florence Nightingale. So, with that said. Let's get into this, shall we, guys? As Izuku is getting that of information on the Berserker class, thanks to Flor thanks to Nightingale, as she begins explaining that Berserker servants actually have is a lot more powerful than all the other serv all the other servants combined. However, to make up for this immense power, most Berserker sp servants are basically unable to speak or talk it's only it's only rare when a few can speak or at least some that can actually help suppress their angry and, and and berserker rage with then izuku writing all of this down and is quite fascinated with the berserker class as he begins going through tons of muttering about if they're able to come basically well speak with their servants through mind link or through telepath or through body language or any other way with all of his other servants such as Siegfried and Nobunaga were kind of taken back by this with soon Sky Hatch soon appears and soon saying Izuku master please stop with Izuku saying, oh, uh, sorry. Within Nightingale, looking at Izuku and saying, you take your job seriously as a master, wanting to know more about your servants and what you'll be prepared for. You are an interesting one at that. But I will tell you this, you will not have to worry about me going berserk. I am a special type of berserker servant after all. What soon, Izuku saying, Oh, really? Care to explain? Well, soon she began explaining that she, that, her, that she only took the Berserker class as a way to enhance her physical combat skill, as she doesn't even, and she barely even goes into combat whatsoever. She mostly prefers being able to support and heal her allies instead. That's why her no, that's why it's her noble phantasm was made to heal instead of hurt, but it can hurt enemies if she wanted to. But soon, Izuku is still fascinated. Thank you for answering my call, and I'll do my best to live up to your expectations as your master, or rather commander, if I can. As he soon lowers his head, but soon, Nightingale saying, none of that, commander. After all, you are my superior. Nothing more, nothing less. What if soon Sigurd saying, Well then, that takes care of that. Let's head back. Uh, you, I don't think you need to continue training. At least take it easy for at least a while, Izuku. With then Izuku saying, That's a good idea. Thanks, Sigurd. With Izuku and the rest of his servants walking back to their place, as they, as they arrive at the entrance, they soon see at least a car with two, with two figures in, in black suits as they look like they're talking to Inko and Sheba. With soon he's saying, what the, what's going on? As Sigurd looks closer, soon saying, can't be anything good. Be prepared, Izuku. And the same goes for the rest of you. With they all nodding, even Nightingale as well. With soon, he's saying, um, can I help you all? 
with thin Inko saying, Izuku, with soon Sheba saying, Master, you finally returned. But I think you could have at least stayed out a little bit longer, though. No disrespect. With soon Izuku saying, What do you mean? As one of the men that looks like that was in a black suit wearing sunglasses. However, there's only one distinct characteristics that stand out. He had that of a lizard tail on his behind him. Soon saying, ah, Midoriya, Izuku Midoriya. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. What soon Izuku saying, um, yeah, can I ask on who you are? What soon saying, ah, just as I introduced myself to your mother, let me introduce myself to you. As the man introduces himself as Hidotomi, and the other guy in, he says that his name is Kotamaru, as they explain that they're parts of the Hero Public Safety Commission, and they've taken an interest within the young greenette boy, but soon Izuku's saying, wait, take an interest in me? Why so? With soon, Sigurd doesn't like the sound of that, as even Nightingale feels like there's something coming off these two men. Which then Hidetomi soon explained that he wishes to allow Izuku Midoriya to become and work as a public safety and train to become a public safety hero. With soon Izuku saying, wait, seriously? You want me to train as a public safety hero? With soon the man adjusting his sunglasses saying, that's right, kid. With you, we see, we've heard about your talents and your skills at the UA entrance exam. Many of the teachers were actually quite fond of you. And not only that, many agents are also there keep scouting out for potential, scouting out there to see how the next generation of heroes are. We don't, we, but we also go to other schools as well. But, it, but we see a lot of potential in you. So, why not? If, if you train with us, we can get you to become a hero a lot faster than you normally would have. So, what do you say? Care to join the Public Safety Commission as he offers a hand to the green eyed boy? But soon, Sigurd was about to say something as he doesn't really trust this man, trust both of them at all. But soon, he's saying, Mr. Hiditaka, thank you for the offer, but... I'm going to have to decline. What soon, the guy was taken back by that, even the other one. What soon, he talks saying, what are you talking about? I mean, come on. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. You can become a true hero in this way. What soon, Izuk saying, I get where you're coming from. And being a public safety hero would make, would make me reach to the top, become a hero way faster. However, I want to make it there with my own strength and my own skills through my own hard work as well. If I decide to rely on the Hero Public Safety Commission, it would only seem like I'm only taking the easy way out instead of working hard to reach that goal. What soon, Kozumaro soon saying, I believe that you're taking this the wrong way, Mr. Midoriya. The public... You will be trained to become a hero, and you'll be working really hard to reach that goal. You'll just be, you'll ha, you'll just have to go through intense training and skill to improve your quirk and show that you can become a great hero. Nothing more, nothing less. With soon, he's like saying, again, I understand, but I already plan on going to UA, and. I know to you guys, it would seem like it would be that of the, well, long and tedious route, especially going to high school. However, I want to train, I want to grow, and I want to make connections instead of having to rely on the connections of the organization that keeps many, many people and heroes safe. So please understand. With Su I must decline. With then Izuku bowing. But soon Sigurd can help but smile alongside Nightingale and that of Skyhatch as well.
within the air about around the area begins to change as it feels a lot more colder. But soon Higatomi saying, I am sorry, kid, but this is an offer that most people don't turn down. Are you sure you don't want to reconsider? I mean, if you do join this, you could actually have a lot more financial support and you'll be able to gain a lot more money to help out your family. We know that the Midoriya family isn't really well off and buying a place like this must cost quite a bit. With soon Sheba soon saying, that won't be necessary. After all, the Midoriya family is now, well, is now a wealthy family, at least in the top 10 of the most richest families here in Japan. Are we, is that not? What soon the two officers look at the, the, cat, the fox girl. What soon he, he's saying, what? I'm pretty sure you may not know this, but the Midoriya family is now a co-owner of an upcoming support company. And not only that, we're, they're all, we're also an invest, investors into multiple high ranking support costume hero companies. So you have, so we're basically more, more financially stable than you expected. Are we not? What soon the man saying, but our research with soon Sigurd saying, sorry, but I think you're a little bit off off about your research with then Kotomar saying, I'm sorry. I know that this young woman is said to be the, the assistant to your mother, but can I explain all the three of you? With soon Sigurd saying, I'm a support. You could say I'm look, I look after Izuku during his time. And soon Sky is saying, I'm his teacher basically his private tutor who trains him in combat. I can tell I can tell that you think that you all have the best combat and training system than every other comp than every other hero company or best than hero school. But I'll let you know this. My training is a lot more tougher than anything that you or whatever your instructors could do to Izuku. And let me say this if Izuku trained with you fools, he would mop the floor with all of you without even trying. So, let this. So let me remind you, whatever Izuku decides, I will. I will accept. But if he chooses not to go with you, I think you should respect his decision. Will you not? With soon, the two public safety officers began being that of annoyed. So they feel like they're being humiliated with not even trying. With then, Hidetomi saying, I understand, but if you, but some, but if you do choose this path, let's just say things will not be easier for you. Just saying, as his tail begins going, was about to wrap around Inko, when then Nightingale grabs the tail before it could even get close to her. What soon he could tell me saying, What the what the hell are you saying? I saw what you were trying to do. Making threats like this is unacceptable. I will not allow you to harm the commander's mother. What soon saying, Commander, what the hell are you with then talk as soon Izuk saying, Nightingale, please stop. It, that's enough. With then Nightingale saying, As you wish, Commander. With soon letting go, as he feels like his tail is in immense pain. With then soon Kotomar saying, We need to go, Higatomi. Now, but then saying, Fine, but remember the offer, Midoriya, or things will get ugly soon. Just letting you know. With then the two agents soon going off as they leave from the property. With then Inko feeling somewhat nerve collapses on the ground with that of, well, stress and nervousness. With soon Izuku going to his mother saying, Mom, are you 
saying, I'm fine, Izuku. Just this whole situation did not seem right. Especially, especially why did what they come now of all times? It would soon. Sigurd saying, it couldn't just been from the entrance exam. By the way that they were speaking, it almost seemed like they knew about Izuku's quirk, knew about Izuku's power and strength from the very beginning. Or rather, they were biding their time to come to us. I wouldn't be surprised it was due to the due to the sledge villain incident about a year ago with soon Shea was saying, oh, it was definitely that with then everybody looking at the fox girl with soon saying, wait, what? I mean, they have been trying to contact late Miss Inko and try to get try to get an audience with you for a long time, Izuku. I just been basically stalling them from the time being. I even created multiple clones of yourself that denied your that denied you ever joining them. What soon is saying, why would you do that? With then Sheba soon crossing her arms and pupping up her chest, what soon saying, the public hero safety commission is not to be trusted. I've when I was doing my in, when I was doing my research, I've had tons of cl clairvoyant visions, visions of possible visions of you joining the public safety commission, and each vision that was different, all ended the same, and all ended with you basically taking people's lives. What soon, Izuku's eyes began whining, saying, "What? What do you mean?" With Inko soon saying, what do you mean, Caster? Can you please explain? With then, Sheba begins explaining all the visions she's been having. Everything about what will lead to Izuku becoming that of an assassin, a killer for the Public Hero Safety Commission. That they basically kill villains and heroes alike for to keep the so-called hero society afloat to keep their faith in heroes alive. But soon, Izuku hearing this alongside Inko began feeling like everything that they that was led up to this society was broken. But soon, Izuku saying, then what, then what am I doing now? What am I striving to become a hero? If this society is this is the society we live in, would soon Sigurd soon sit right next to Izuku, placing a hand on his shoulder, soon saying, You still want to become a hero, right? Would soon Izuku looking at the glasses wearing man, saying, Of course I do. Then there you go. You'll still become a hero, the hero that you want to be. And now you know about this society from Castor. You now know what you need to do to change it. Do you not? But soon, Izuku's saying, yeah, you're right. This is just a setback. And a setback, I swear I'm going to change no matter what. And I know I can do it, knowing that I have you guys by my side supporting me, guiding me if I lead astray. I know I'm not too worried. Soon, every, the, all the servants begin to smile with them nodding. With that, Izuku feels, says that he's just gonna go get some rest. Since summoning Nightingale did, well, wore him out a little bit after all. With soon, Nightingale soon goes to spirit form as well. With even Sky Hatch. Within Kotaro, and Nobunaga soon appear. With Su as Izuku walks to his room, they can now know that he's out of earshot. With soon, even Inko also he heading out too, given that the situation that she was in just a little while ago and wants some time to rest. With now both Midoriya's now left, all that remains is the four servants. With soon, Kotaro saying, if this keeps up, there's a chance that they may try and do something drastic to make Izuku join 
the Public Hero Safety Commission. Well, soon, Sigurd Singh, there's no chance about it. They definitely will. But then Sheba saying, of course they will. I've seen, t I've, I've already predict multiple visions of, ha of things happening. If these visions begin to happen, I will tell Izuku and possible ways to avoid them as well. But soon, Nobunaga saying, why don't we just kill them already? It would be easier and just to get rid of them. Personally, it, with soon Sigurd saying, we're not in the warring states period here, Nobu. And we can't just get, kill people that, that are just going to get in Izuku's way. Not only that, Izuku doesn't want anybody to die. Hero or villain alike. Or even people who's trying to get in his way either. But soon, Nobunaga saying, Yeah, I figured. I don't, I just I wanted to bring up the idea and see what you guys think. Soon, Kotaro saying, I wouldn't mind having the kill for Izuku if it meant that he was safe. That's all that matters, isn't it? But soon, the three, the four servants kind of worried. But then, Shea was soon saying, How about you guys leave the planning and strategies to me and Sigurd? We'll be planning for any and all possible threats that would possibly land on Izuku's lap. Not only that, we should also be re I'm already prepared for anything that could happen with if they try to hack or take away the money or even freeze the assets of all the companies that we have that we have acquired. So, we'll be prepared for that. And whatever and whatever thing they do try, we would have proof for it. Just letting you all know. With soon Sigurd saying, well done. With then soon she was saying. And besides, if they ever do plan something, they're going to regret it. There are two things that I won't allow. I will not allow them to touch and threaten my darling Izuku. And the second, no one touches my money. With then all three of them have that of a cold sweat. With then Nobu soon saying, there she is. Base, the gold digging fox ha is here, is back. With soon she was saying, and can you stop calling me that? That is rude as hell. With soon both Kotaro and Sigurd basically sighing. With then Kotaro soon reverting back to spirit form. With then the three servants heading to their own rooms for the time being. However, Sigurd soon actually leaves the house, leaves the house actually, and plans on going going out actually, and then going to his battle gear with, for the time, as from time to time, Sigurd actually goes out and becomes that of a vigilante with him ba battling against tons of villains in the night. As he knows that the others will be in spirit form and, all he and he'll be the only one out. So he wouldn't be costing a lot of mana for Izuku when he's out with them. However, he doesn't really kill any villains. He basically just beats them so hard that he knocks them out to unconsciousness. And he doesn't even use his iconic sword. Instead, he focuses on using that of his da of his small daggers and, and the flex bullets and any other type of quirk that focuses on long range. But then, but so he's always prepared and always ready for anything to come. But soon, many of the heroes and even the police were wondering on who's the vigilante taking all these villain groups down single-handedly. As the two weeks go by, and Izuku continues his training, even training with that of the weapons of the Berserker-class heroic spirits. So he's getting the hang of them pretty easily and continues to get g grow even stronger with even his, even his mana levels are starting to grow even more, but not too more though. 
But soon, he finally gets his letter from UA. As he soon opens it, he soon shows that it being a hologram of All Might. But then, Izuku actually wanting to fanboy over the, the number one hero in his idol. With All Might soon explaining that he got the highest points in the entrance exam, even broken the even broken the record of the highest entrance points ever in UA history, even beating All Might's old personal record. With that, All Might soon welcomes Izuku to UA to his hero academia. With that, Izuku is height and soon jumps in the air alongside Nobunaga and Kotaro with S Sigurd actually looking at the three cheering in, ce in celebration for Yuzuku getting into UA at that of a smile on his face. Happy for his master that he sees is that of a little brother. But soon Skyhash actually sho shows up and seeing the, the happy moment too. Happy for a master slash pupil, after all. With soon looking at Sigurd, but having that of a somber tone on her face. As she knows about Sigurd going out, being that of a vigilante, after all. With, from time to time, she tracks him in what he's doing. With then, as Izuku goes to Aldera Junior High, soon, He's, as he's in the middle of class, soon an announcement goes off with that with soon they telling he, with the principal soon asking for Izuku to come to the t come to his office. With with that, Izuku is kind of confused. But then in his mind, he soon he hears that of Nobunaga saying, "It's most likely the public safety commission. Be on your guard, Izuku." But soon saying, yeah, thanks, Nobu. But then si soon, Kotaro saying, Master, if anything goes wrong, we're right by your side. Just just say the word. But soon, Izuki saying, thanks for the wor being worried, Kotaro, but I think I can handle this. You got nothing to worry about. With that, he, may he finally arrives at the principal's office. With then opening the door, saying, Did you want to see me, sir? As his eyes begin winding, he sees the same hero public safety agent as before. If he recalls, his name was Higatomi. With then, for the principal saying, Ah, Midoriya, welcome. Please take a seat. This, young, this man wishes to speak to you about joining an internship for the Public Hero Safety Commission before you go to UA. Soon, Izuku saying, oh, no, oh, really? Is that the case? Well, soon, Sigurd saying, figures. They, if they knew, they know that you plan on going to UA no matter what. So they're trying to figure out whatever they can to get you under them for the time being and figure you out. As he, Sigurd says this with that of an annoyed tone, but soon Nobunaga with, has that of an angry and pissed off tone in her voice saying, Damn, damn dirty bastards trying to get you under their thumb, even though, and trying to mess with you. If I swear, if this is going to be one of the attempts that they do, soon, easily saying, calm down, Nobu. We just need to play this cool. With, and I, with soon, Nightingale saying, do you wish for me to step in, Commander? I, I think he, if you have me there, it would be a good fear tactic, after all. I think I could show... I did basically put a little bit of, well, terror in him when I grabbed his tail before. But soon, Izuku saying, let's leave that as a last resort in case things get ugly. Just stay on standby, Nightingale, please. But soon, saying, as you wish, Commander, I'll be on standby. With soon, Izuku taking a seat saying, so, what would you like? As soon, the Pope, he, he could tell me since saying, Principal, sir, could you give us some moments to speak? I would love to talk to Midoriya in private. But soon, the principal saying, oh, of course, of course, 
Take your time, take your time. I think Midoriya can skip at least a couple of classes, but soon the principal actually taking quite a liking to this, given that Izuku is basically going to make them a lot more popular, not only getting into UA, but also being part of the Public Safety Commission and all that other crap. With Izuku kind of getting really sick of the teachers here in this school, given everything that he's gone through. With soon the t the op he could tell me soon sits on the principal's desk looking square at Izuku saying, All right, kid, the reason I'm here is because you we want you to join and we want you now. Soon Izuku asking, So what about this internship thing? You want me to be part of your agency before the next ten for the next two months before I go to UA? But soon he told me saying, kid, that was just a lie I told your principal to basically give, give us a chance to show that uh, this, crummy, this crummy junior high school would get a lot more exposure. Honestly, it's just so goddamn sad, if anything, on how, on how willing this school is tr trying. I mean, I've already seen this, this trashy school. It doesn't even put any... It doesn't even put any warnings for quirks. They ba kids can do whatever the hell they want and bully anyone. I'm guessing you must have been a, been a person for bullying, but it's hard to believe with a quirk like yours. But your personality seems like that of a pushover. Am I right, kid? Soon, Izuku getting annoyed at this guy. Soon saying, can you get to the damn point? I'd rather get back to class already. But soon, he could tell me getting annoyed at Izuku's tone, but soon saying, okay then, I'll make this short. You either renounce your, your acceptance to UA and come work for the Hero Public Safety Commission, or we can make your life a living hell. I didn't want to be so rude in front of your mother and those people who are by your side. So, you either got a choice, kid, do it. You either join or you, or we make your life a living hell. What's it gonna be? But soon, Izuku standing up, soon saying, how about neither? Because I'm going to make my own decision. I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to go to UA. I'm going to become a hero and I'm going to become the hero I want to be. I will refuse to become your little lapdog, your little pawn in your, in your little games. I will be a hero that protects everyone, not just, the, not just the civilians, not just my fellow heroes, but villains as well. That's what I'm going to do. And you won't stop me. But soon, he could tell me soon saying, oh really? And why do you say that? But soon, Nightingale soon getting out of her spirit form and grabbing Higatomi by his throat. With soon, and lifting him up in the air. With that, but then Izuku saying, because I know you have a bit of a fear over Nightingale. Say hello to my quirk. The throne of heroes. With soon struggling to get out of the grip. With, with, however, Nightingale is barely even squeezing down on his throat, and and barely even using bare any of her a berserker strength. This is just her pure strength alone as a heroic spirit. With soon, he soon he soon saying, "Don't worry, Nightingale is barely even choking you out." So I'm going to make this abruptly clear. You're going to tell your superiors to leave me alone. And if they try anything to my family, to my mom, and to anything else, to the people close to us, or, or everything that we've built, then they're going to regret it. Government branch be damn. We won't basically roll over and be consumed by your government tactics. Remember that, Mr. Higatomi. Soon, Izu. He's still struggling within saying, now tell your, 
tell your superiors that. Is that understood? What soon he could tell me still choking and barely having me able to breathe, saying, is that understood? But soon him nodding furiously, but saying, good, now off you go, with then dropping the public safety hero as he soon, as Izuku soon leaves alongside Nightingale, as she looks back at the mute, at the lizard mutant quirk user, as he's trying his best to catch his breath, constantly coughing over and over again. But then she soon, basically, for one last go, she actually kicks Higatomi in the face, actually, with knocking him out completely and dragging his body outside. As soon, she actually adjusts his body to make it look like he was sleeping. With that said and done, she soon goes off to catch up with Izuku. And soon thanks to herself, I will not let people like him threaten the stability of my master. I refuse. With soon going back into spirit form. As the months go by, and there were quite a bit of attempts to mess with Izuku's life before his time at UA. However, each attempt were basically counteracted and basically sent back tenfold. Like, for example, they tried to liquidate the assets of the multiple companies that they, that they now, well, owned and are part of. Well, let's just say the Public Safety Commission's, well, ma main information intelligence was hacked and was basically about to be so was about to be leaked all over the internet if they didn't well knock off messing with Izuku. Not only that, they also tried creating that a phony evidence to basically to to basically well get Izuku and his mother arrested. However, the evidence was soon confiscated and could never be found due thanks to that of Kotaro. And soon, last but not least, they tried sending one of their own public safety heroes to, tr to attempt to assassinate Izu Inko, actually. However, due to Sheba always being around Inko, always helping her to get into the boss mindset and all that, she, well, all attempts were basically stopped and any of the public safety heroes that Sheba found Let's just say they were never found ever again. With that, all attempts to mess with Izuku's life and get him under the Public Safety Commission's thumb have been utterly forwarded. With soon, Izuku has to basically thank all of his servants all at once as Sigurd is kind of worried for Izuku having all of them out here basically could drain his entire mana levels with soon Izuku say that doesn't matter as he's thankful for all their support that they're doing for him that they're protecting him and he couldn't ask for people ask for a family better than them with that they couldn't help but tear but be grateful for their master always caring about them with then Sheba actually grabbing onto her little master, saying, Oh, my darling Izuku, you're so sweet and kind. I'm so thankful having somebody like you. With soon, Iz Izuku was about to blush as she soon saying, You are a special case, Izuku. I would do anything to protect you, to protect your life, no matter what. Fortune be damned to me, I say. What soon Izuku was really taken back by Sheba's words and was actually blushing instead of that of embarrassment, but actually that of, well, caring, to be honest. With soon Nobu grabs the Queen of Sheba and soon saying, All right, you've had enough. I think you've embarrassed Izuku enough, gold digging fox. 
live. Then she's Nobu actually grabs Izuku saying, don't worry Izu, your big sis will always protect you no matter what. Even from, even from lecherous gold digging foxes as well. With soon Sheba getting annoyed at Nobunaga. With then the rest being Sigurd, Kotaro, and Skyhatch are alongside Nightingale are actually kind of annoyed that such a tender scene is basically now ruined by the by those two bickering and being annoyed and being annoying with soon the months have now finally passed and now Izuku is getting ready to go to UA with him now getting on his school uniform with Inko asking if he has everything and if he's ready and not and he hasn't brought along any of his action figures but soon, Izuku saying that he'll be fine. But then, soon, Inko saying, please be okay, Izuku. After all the crazy stuff that's been happening, soon saying, don't worry. I've always got you. Well, everything will be fine. I swear it. But soon, Izuku going off as he takes the, he takes a, he takes the bus and then takes a train to UA as he's ready for anything to come. As he stands in front of the school of his dreams, the school where his beginning as a hero of heroes soon begins. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I would love to read them. Also, I was thinking about going straight into that of the first day at UA for part three, but I've kind of done that for so many of my other parts after all. So I wanted to make this that of a filler slash canon chapter. Given what the Public Safety Hero Commission is able to do and the stupid and the shit they can get into, it only makes sense that they try to recruit Izuku by any means necessary even through blackmail, threatening, and trying to ruin his life. So, but thanks to having that of two, two smart servants, one servant that can that's literally a ninja, and servants that can destroy an entire city slash an entire country without even breaking a sweat. So yeah, they would be, they're literally outmatched no matter what they do. So, at any rate... Please like and subscribe. Also hit that bell notification to keep up to date with my videos when I upload. Also, check out my Discord and gaming channel. Links to be in the description below. So with all that said, this is Leon Mookie signing out. Later, guys. Hi, everyone. This is White Fox. If you liked Leon's video, click the video on the left to see the most recent one. And if you want to see more of this, click the subscribe button and notification bell and check out his playlist. If you still haven't subscribed, do so in the center. With that said, I hope to see you again on my love's channel. Bye!